Welcome everyone to a new tactics video. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you some tactics, especially the instructions that worked pretty amazing. It was so effective. I was just trying out some new things like I always do and I am expecting some things to work, yes or no, and just trying it out. And I was expecting this to work, but it was even better. It wasn't working what I was expected, but it worked like a charm and I'm going to show you in this video what it is and how it works. But first, I want to thank you very much for watching, of course, and please people drop a like under the video. It will be really helpful for me and my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel and want to find your way back really easy, make sure you are subscribed with the notifications on. All right, this is the formation. I was trying it out in online seasons with the national team of France because that's the team that I'm using the most when I'm trying out new formations. It's the 433 with the false number nine. And I'm going to show you uh yeah what is important uh the defense it's just a bit default it's not really important for this one uh i'm using pogba as the most defensive midfielder because kante isn't in the squad right now so i'm using him uh, i'm using Nkunku as a central midfielder and i was using mbappe as central midfielder that sounds a bit weird maybe but i'm going to show you later in the instructions why i was trying this out benzema is a striker and Coman and dembele are the wingers um they are really fast that's really important if you want to try this out yourself if you want to try this out yourself it can also be with another team if you have similar players like i'm using here so you can also use it in ultimate team of course if you have similar players so fast wingers a really fast midfielder like mbappe and uh, yeah just a striker just a, a pretty all-round striker like Benzema is. Uh, that's really, really important. All right, the tactics are just a bit default, just defensive style balance because I was trying out the instructions and I don't want the tactics to, uh, yeah, normally the instructions overrule the tactics, but it doesn't work that way in FIFA all the time. So when I'm trying out new instructions or just a combination of instructions, I have this all unbalanced. So I'm showing you this guys, defensive style balanced, the width is 40, depth is 60, build a play also balanced. Uh, chance creation is on direct passing because that fits my play style the most. And I think that is the most effective way for the chance creation. Uh, the width is only one. If you saw other videos from me, especially with the four, three, three formations, the width is one because of the wingers that you can involve in your gameplay in your game style in your gameplay way more in your build-ups than when it's wider so that's why i'm just putting that on one you can see that later in the gameplay uh, examples that i have for you uh players in the box four bars corners and free kicks both two bars then we're going to the instructions stay back while attacking for kunde verane kimbembe are just default and non less stay back while attacking so nothing special there uh pogba is on good passing lanes stay back while attacking and cover center uh, then we have Nkunku, he is also on stay back while attacking uh, and in get into the box for the cross. That is a pretty weird combination because he needs to stay back, but he also needs to go into the box for the cross. And I was just wondering how that would work. And I was expecting him to stay back all the time. And when you are near the box with Komen and Dembele, that he will sprint forward into the box to get there. And I was ex I was just wondering if it was working that way, yes or no. So we're going to see if that is the case yes or not uh the other things are just default for him then mbappe get forward and get into the box for the cross uh that is really important for him i was expecting him to make those runs forward when you have the ball passing benzema and yeah just surprising your opponent's defenders by making a run and i i used to get forward more times with get into the box for the instructions but never with a striker as fast as mbappe normally i'm just using midfielders over there like kevin de bruyne or now whatever doesn't matter that much but i never used it with mbappe in combination with a central forward so i was uh, yeah i was just trying out how that would work uh, then we have uh on the right side we have Komen. i have him on cut inside getting behind uh get into the box for the cross then we have benzema stay central false number nine and the other one is default so the false number nine that was the thing i was trying out the most and i'm going to show you that later with some painting for myself uh chance creation for dembele cut inside getting behind to get into the box for the cross the same as Komen. and what i was expected 
is that this is the field and let's say my opponent has four defenders and a central defensive midfielder and two central midfielders like the same like i have it can be another formation of course but it doesn't matter that much take blue for myself what i was expecting that we have pogba here we have mbappe here and we have Nkunku here that these two guys and Kunku and Pogba are just staying back so they are just similar to each other that Mbappe will make the run forward that Benzema with the false number nine drops back to the midfield that he will go that way so that one of the center backs of my opponent is going after Benzema and that Mbappe is going forward and the other one will take him and then we have Komen and Dembele can inside getting behind also going there so that there is a situation that you can have one center back nine out of ten times the, the full backs of your opponent are too late when they are making runs because they are really fast so they are never going to catch up with them that there is just one center back of your opponent this guy for an example because this guy is going after Mbappe it's gonna be a bit weird but I think you will understand what I mean that there are three players against one center back I was just wondering if it was working that way so now we're going into a match and let's see if that is working that way yes or no all right the first clip that i have for you let's see what's happening here i just have the ball from my defense passing it to the right defender and kunku is just here so he's open pogba is here so he's also open and Mbappe is just still here here we have Pogba and here we have Nkunku and we have Benzema dropping back to the midfield just like I expect it to be. So hopefully what's going to happen is that Mbappe is going to make a run, that Komen is making a run and if you see the minimap that Dembele is also going to make a run. So let's see what's happening in the first clip. We are already 20 minutes in game. I was just trying out to figure out how my opponent was playing, if he's good or not. Uh, so that was just a bit of try out and now we are just going to the the build-ups that i will have but what is happening here you can already see it mbappe is not going forward but benzema is just going forward i would expect something else but yeah it is what it is this is how fifa works we are just trying things out and yeah you can see here that Dembele was pretty in the middle of the field and Komen also if you put the width on the attacking play wider they will just stand there and Dembele would be here so they are just standing on the side of the field and it's really hard for me maybe for you not if you are just used to play wider uh, to involve them in your attacking play so that's why I'm putting that on just a width of one so Dembele got the ball here a bit more to the side of the field Crossing it to uh, Benzema, we have a chance. Mbappe is already in the box and Kunku is not in the box. Um, let's see what he is doing exactly because he was just on uh, stay back but get into the box for the cross. So he is just there, not in the box, but yeah, he's near the box. All right, that was just happening in the first attack. Let's go to another attack, just passing it back to Magnon. Magnon to Kimbembe, Hernandez is going wide, but we are passing the ball to Pogba this time. So not to one of my fullbacks, but to the midfield. Let's see. What is really surprising for me is that Nkunku is on a higher level than Mbappe is. Mbappe has to get forward. He has the high, low work rates. So no defensive work, but with high. And Nkunku has medium, medium. So that was a bit of a surprise for me that he's higher on the pitch than Mbappe is. But all right. But Benzema is not dropping back like a false number nine in this case when you are going to attack I recognize that in more situations during this match that he is just going to run forward like he is doing here we are not playing fast build-up we are not playing long ball so that could need not be the case he is playing as a false number nine but still going to make runs forward all right you see Komen is pretty narrow uh, coming inside to the field then Bele on the minimap, you can see him here, is a bit wider. But we have an option to pass the ball, just run with Komen. And look to the defense of my opponent. It's so open. He has selected this player. I think this is his right defender. There was one center back and the other one is already there. I think this 
one of these two guys would be his left defender i don't know this is a center back he's selected so he's running into my uh my player and then he is switching he's struggling a bit with switching i can imagine that because i have the same problem myself but his defense was totally wide open and that was really surprising because benzema wasn't dropping back he was just running forward and Mbappe was not in the striker possession yet. All right, next for me, uh, the next example, we have Hernandez taking the ball. And then we have Dembele to Mbappe and Kunku again, pretty high on the, on the, uh, on the pitch with a stay back, but okay. Uh, Benzema and Kunku and look at the run of my left winger and the right winger. They are just making runs to this space and that is what I was expecting that his defense would be open because Benzema would drop back uh, and Mbappe would go forward but he's not doing that all the time but with the cut inside and again in behind there is so much space for these wingers and that was working really really wonderful look at Dembele you can go one-on-one -on, -one on the goalkeeper and scoring our second goal all right then from the kickoff uh, Pogba with a really uh, yeah, easy interception there. Koeman, again, he is really, he's not really wide. So for me, again, it's really useful to have the wingers. So uh, yeah, narrow into the pitch. Then we have Benzema, Dembele shooting almost the third goal. But you see it, you have plenty of options passing the ball around in your attack. And especially with this fast wingers we have. This was a gift from my opponent. I don't know why he was doing that. Maybe I was just struggling with pass. I don't know. Again, here is just giving me the ball. It was pretty weird. Maybe he was just giving up or something. I don't know. But look at this. Dembele just turning around the goalkeeper. I was just playing a bit and scoring the fourth goal. But you see how easy it goes with this formation. Then again, Mbappe, Pogba and Kunku, the three on the midfield. And now we have Benzema. This time, maybe he was dropping back a bit, but I am not sure if that false number nine instruction is really working. I don't know. Maybe if you're playing slow build up, maybe then it's working better, but I didn't try it out. But again, pretty good combination to the middle of the field. This time the goalkeeper saves it and we didn't score. So we need to defend Rashford for my opponent. We need to defend. He's just passing the ball around and trying to get the ball back here with Kunde, and we almost got it yes now we have it Kuman to Benzema Pogba and now Mbappe was making some kind of a run forward but again Benzema just going forward a bit but yeah he was not doing something really really what you can do or he needs to make a run forward or he needs to be here and be available and now he was just walking into me and yeah it was really hard to find a good uh passing opportunity one of the one of the the few times that that was happening but we get the ball pogba and Mbappe, and now benzema is trying to be available there he is and kunku is coming forward and with a bit of luck we have komen doing a some kind of berbatov spin thing and my opponent was hitting me not really hard look at this really really cheap penalty this is but it is a penalty. I didn't, if I saw this, <laughs> I would have missed it because it was a bullshit penalty, but I didn't saw it during the game and just scoring the fifth goal, all in the first half. Then we have Benzema getting the ball really easy. Mbappe to Dembele, Dembele to Mbappe. Then we have Benzema shooting, not scoring this time, but you see how easy it goes. And this was in, I think division I'm not sure this is my test account I'm not in division one with my test account because I'm trying lots of things out and you will lose lots of time then but look at the stats 13 shots again 3 0 0.1 expected goals 3.8 expected goals and we're leading five against nil so this was the formation and the instructions that I was using again it was not what I suspected that it would be doing but it worked really really well so maybe you could try it out yourself let me know in the comments what you think of it and if you tried it out how you uh yeah 
if you enjoyed it yes or no thank you very much for watching have a great day bye bye